what's going on everybody welcome today is tuesday it's april 19th 2022 my name is jeremy and this is my first stop it's really hot good morning stacy and dennis and mark and all of you whether you're watching live later or listening thanks for coming by for that notice of this ah oh. Yeah, so new intro music slash intro animation. Uh, the one that we've been using, despite being freely provided by this company that we use for streaming software, somebody's claiming rights to the music and it's been getting annoying. And so I said, fine. So I spent a little bit of time yesterday and made our own out of what is supposed to be completely royalty free video and royalty and rights free video and music. So there we go. Um, what do you think? Is it okay? Is it too much? I tried to find a balance on the music, something that was maybe a little stimulating, a little you know, might wake you up a little bit, but not too obnoxious. Almost everything I could find out there was just way too chill, and it would put me to sleep. Morning, Jenny. Oh, Dennis says he's driving to work, so he's gonna be quiet today. I want to be quiet today. It's snowing. I spent uh, about 20 minutes after I woke up walking around, walking around outside, knocking snow off trees with a broom because it's that late season, heavy snow. And even though there isn't that much of it, it weighs a lot and it's pulling trees down. And we've got, we've got a two to three inches out there. So yikes. Stacy says, I like it, but was way surprised. Kelly says, we should have Andrew drum something out. I'm not opposed to that. And Ray says, you know why they call this snow poor man's fertilizer? Because when it snows this time of year, you look at it and go, oh, crap. <laughs> um, might also be that it knocks everything that's on the trees off the trees on the ground, including some of the trees and the branches. When I was out there, I heard, I definitely heard a tree snap. Uh, it didn't fall, but. Uh, very well may have been a birch or something. Actually, I don't know. From where the direction it came from, it could have been just about anything. But I didn't see anything on the ground other than a couple small branches. I will have to go out and do this again because we've got another three hours of this based on the latest forecast. That's okay. So did you, good morning, Tommy and Nathan. Did you check out yesterday's episode of Martial Arts Radio? Did you listen to my interview with Walter Jones, the original Black Ranger? How cool was that? Uh, what a good guy. What a fun conversation. And just somebody who I think can, can do just about anything he wants to do, right? Like that was my takeaway from that, from that conversation was that he was a, a versatile individual. Um, so today, Andrew and I are supposed to record. We will be recording, but it doesn't look like he's going to come up. Uh, I wrote to him briefly before the show, and I said, you know, it snow's really sketchy up here. And for those of you who live up here with me, you will understand what I say next. Late in the season, the road crews, they rarely have much budget left, and they just don't really seem to do a lot of work on the roads. And, uh... Andrew just ended up with a new car, and I'm sure it doesn't have snow tires on it. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to drive in this. I live in this, and I don't want to drive in it. I will be driving the Jeep today. Even though the, the Jeep, actually, I don't know. Ugh, that's tough. The roads are terrible underneath, so that suggests the Jeep. But the snow on top suggests the studded snow tires on the RAV4. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Tommy says, yes, yesterday's episode was very good. Stacy didn't listen yet. Work from home. No commute. Soon. And it's school vacation week. Ah, yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. No roads getting plowed today. Tommy says, I agree. I'm not going anywhere. 
So what else is going on? I'll be dog sitting today. Uh, once I'm done here, I have a meeting with Justin and then throw some things in the car and drive. Not It's not far away. Mileage, it's, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 miles. It's not very far. And hang out with a dog for a couple days. Have a friend, her and her family are headed to Boston for a week. For not a week, for a couple days because it's school vacation week. And said, hey, new dog, you want to hang out with the dog? And I said, of course I want to hang out with the dog. So I'm going to go hang out with the dog. It is slightly more in the woods than where I live. It's more miles up dirt roads than where I am. Um, yeah, it's a nice house. It's fun. I've done it before. Good people. They throw me a couple bucks. You know, everybody wins. It's one of those things I do that people say, how much do you charge? I don't, I don't charge. You just pay me what you feel like. What is it worth to you for me to be here? Pay me that. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it to help out. But I don't do it for free. <sighs> what else is going on today? Was supposed to have my first in-person visit with my doctor in, I don't know how long. Close contact recently. So we have supposedly rescheduled for online, for, for telehealth. We'll see. We'll see. I like my doctor. She's nice. Go over some blood work. And that's all that's on the calendar today. Now, that doesn't mean that there's a thousand and one things that I'm going to be doing. Most of it's going to be email because the type of work that I can do when I'm not at my desk with my full setup, I'm not dragging monitors and things over there. I'll be sitting in a chair doing a lot of email. I probably owe emails to some of you. You'll probably see emails come in that are rather lengthy because I'm going to use my phone and voice transcription for many of them and then edit them for my laptop. Uh, we have uh, a meeting tonight for one of the team efforts. Um, we are not publicly discussing what it is we're working on, but that'll be fun. Those meetings are always fun. Now, Ray's saying, I guess I'll be fine. With my Wrangler, I drove one entire winter with summer tires. Didn't have any issues. It's a Jeep. Yeah, plenty of torque to those wheels, and as long as the tires are in good shape, I should be fine. Um, what I don't like, the only thing I've found that I don't like is that um, it's light enough that, or rather, it can handle... Bottom line, if I go at a, even a reasonable speed over all the bumps and it's bouncing around, it's bouncing around. It's bouncing all over the place. When I had when I had a 4Runner, it was heavier and didn't bounce. It would stay right where it was. It could also be the shocks. It could be that they're very stiff. And that's fine too. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You work with what you have, right? Um, I asked a question on Facebook yesterday, and I'll let you answer this one in a little bit. Some of you already answered, and the answer is great, but we're not going to start yet. For Tuesday, if you could be part of any martial arts TV show or movie, current or past, which would you choose? It looks like we have five answers. Wow. Nice. So think about your answer to that. We'll ask it. We'll talk about it a little later. And <laughs> uh, let's take a look at what Frank sent over. So I hope you're all keeping Frank in his thoughts as, as he figures out what's going on with him. Today would have been boxer. Edward, is that this playing? Yes, it is. Edward Crook Jr.'s 93rd birthday. Here are some interesting facts from boxrec.com. You know, at some point, based on the ease with which we can find boxing quotes, but the difficulty in finding martial arts quotes, maybe should, we should make like a martial arts quote website. Actually, can somebody remind me about that? Because I know who, to, who, would, who I would want to work on that, actually. And I think they would do it. Please remind me later. And if you want to work on it too, 
All right. Um, one was an Olympic gold medalist for the United States at the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome in the 165 pound class. Quirk defeated Tadus Tadus Wallasek. I know I'm getting that first name wrong. Tadus Wallasek. I'm going to go with that. In the gold medal match by 3 2 decision. Reportedly, he was the only Army boxer to ever win an Olympic gold medal. He had no professional career. Well, that's interesting. How do you come back from a gold medal and not go on to be a pro boxer? Ah, coffee. Crook served two tours in Vietnam with the U.S. Army, was awarded a Silver Star, Bronze Star, and two Purple Hearts. Two Purple Hearts. Ouch. You gotta get hurt for a purple heart. You got hurt twice. And was an ROTC instructor at Alcorn State in Mississippi. I like that old crop of boxers. Those were tough guys. You know, you look at today's boxers. They're a different kind of tough. They're tough in the ring. But they don't seem, many of them, based on what I see on television, so could be completely inaccurate. They don't seem mentally tough. They don't seem, seem emotionally and spiritually tough. They're physically tough. They're tough when it comes to boxing. But what about the rest of their lives? I don't know. I think the only boxer that I find interesting, not that I know a lot about current boxing, but Tyson Fury interests me. He seems like somebody I would like to talk to. Don't know that we'd ever get him on the show. He's kind of a big deal, but I would talk to him. Talk to Mike Tyson. I'd talk to just about anybody if they do something that's martial arts-ish. Tommy agrees with me. They were tough guys for sure. Take care, Andy. All right. Anything else? We We've got that meeting. Doctors. I feel like there's something I'm missing today. I don't know. Oh, I'm looking at a box of All In Weekend t-shirts over there. So those of you who are coming to All In Weekend, your shirt is right there. I can see it. Well, maybe not yours specifically, but I can see the top of the box. Um, anything else? I'll be honest. This is not a bad day to just kind of hang out. Kind of wish I was hanging out at my house, not somebody else's house, but it'll still be fun. I will enjoy it. Kind of hang on a couch with a dog. Not a bad way to spend some time. All right. Let's talk about this. So again, you can be part of any martial arts TV show or movie, current or past. What would you choose? Let me share this up here. All right, so first answer comes in from Dennis. Movie, no brainer. I'd want to play the part of Travis Brickley in Best of the Best. TV series, a part in the original Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. I don't know which angle I would come at this from. Would I want to be in a TV show or a movie because I liked the character or because I wanted to be the star or because there was a crew I wanted to work with or did I want bragging rights, right? Like
Can you guys see me? You guys might be able to see me. Where where am I connected to right now? I'm connected to that. It says it's going. All right. I lost power. So if you can see me, I'm not sure how. So that's cool. I'm going to keep going. It says it's going. I was just going to switch over to my phone, but I think I think we're good. Um there's a good chance that those of you locally lost power as well. Who knows? All right. Broadcasting live from the dark. And we got all the power, the backup power going. All right. Uh, next. Jason says USA Network's Kung Fu Theater. It's a great choice. Brian says... I'd take whatever capacity of involvement I would have been allowed on the set of No Retreat, No Surrender. One of my all-time favorite martial arts movies growing up, if not my top choice, still. Mark says, Power Rangers. Yeah, I think I think somehow I still have internet. Sweet. Um, and Andrew says, Renegade, Bikes and Martial Arts. I'm unfamiliar with that. Is that a show or a movie? Um, and you know what? Unrelated to the question, but so apropos to what's going on, Stacy says, not a movie, just a comment on looking out my window this morning. April is the cruelest month. Reading lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. T.S. Eliot. And it's snowing. Ground is covered. Yeah. All right, so this is pretty cool. All right, so Kelly says, everybody can see me. So it froze, here's what I think happened. Um, I've got almost everything on a battery backup. The, the, the real high speed internet is not on a battery backup. The backup one is the secondary one and the relevant equipment here is on a battery backup. This is the first like live test I've ever had of this equipment on battery backup. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It failed over. It took a few seconds for, do you guys remember when I brought in that like network gear and I was like, I'm going to set this up. So I have two internet connections and blah, 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 blah. boom. That's why I did it for this. So I can broadcast live to the world while I don't have power. Kind of cool that that happened. Um, can anybody tell me roughly how long you didn't see me? This is all very interesting to me. How long were you not able to see me? Um, Tommy says martial law because of Samo. Oh, great choice. Jenny says, I honestly thought my internet went down here when I heard the beeping. And it's telling me I have a poor internet connection, which I'm not really sure why. Oh, connection is unstable. Well, you know what? Whatever. Stream yard. Um, Jenny says, Renegade was a great show. Used to watch with my mom. Long-haired dude on a bike? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. All right. So Jenny says, maybe for 30 seconds you were frozen. Okay, so that makes sense. So roughly that long for the, for the router to figure it out. I could throw another battery out in the garage. The problem with batteries in unheated spaces is that they deteriorate very quickly. They do not want to work well over the cold, during the cold cold months. So, yeah. How long does that think we have? Oh, plenty of time. That's telling me we've got like two hours. Because I only have a couple things hooked up to it. Right, I've got oh the TV's but the TV's off. So we've got oh the only things really on that are the TV and uh the Wi-Fi router. Okay. 
Well, um, I got plenty of things I got to go do. And nobody's given me anything more on, uh, on TV shows and movies. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go. I'm going to do all the things that one has to do when the power goes out. Not knowing how long the power will be out. Because it could be a long time. I appreciate you coming by. Remember if you... Oh, Stacy says Wonder Woman. That's an awesome choice. I love it. Remember, if you want to support, you got some ways. You've got the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Whistlekick. It's the only way to know about upcoming guests. Um, and I'll tell you what. Here's something we've never done before. But I'm going to invite this. I'm not guaranteeing it'll happen. But if you see somebody coming up as a guest and you have a particular question that you would like me to ask or a subject that you would like me to talk about that would be your only opportunity you are welcome to when you see us post those updates of who we're talking to and you say oh, that person's coming on you've got to talk to them about this there you go you can email me you can also Excuse me, email me, Jeremy, let's talk about anything. Uh, you've also got the code FIRSTCUP15 to buy something at whistlekick.com, like a mug or a hoodie. You probably can't even tell this hoodie is black on black. I had fun with this one. This is years old, though. Uh, and if you want the full list, it's the family page, whistlekick.com slash family. We update it weekly. Questions and comments on the Facebook page. If you don't do Facebook, email me. And remember, we do the show every weekday, 6.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time right here on Facebook, on YouTube, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We're on Twitter. Some of you are following on Twitch now. I, I put out that call. I'm putting out that call again, please. There's actual money on Twitch. If we can build this up, it is a platform that we actually could do something with because there are very few people doing the kind of thing that we're doing on Twitch. And it would catch some attention. We would stand out. So I'm asking you, like, if you genuinely like what we do, I'm not saying you have to do anything differently. Just please make a Twitch account. Follow Whistlekick. You will find Whistlekick. You're not going to find First Cup, but you'll find Whistlekick. Please. I'm asking. Please. All right. Uh, and Stacy says, the Gal Gadot version. Of Wonder Woman. Absolutely. Jenny says Highlander. Great choices. All right. Off to do all these things I got to do. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate all of you. Take care. Be well. Peace.